All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the GSMC Wrestling Lower Podcast, brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. It's your boy E here with all your cool wrestling factoids. Heading into the weekend, it is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Hope you're all excited for your Friday. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday, Friday. Fr- I'm just kidding. No, I don't mean that. <laughs> uh, but uh, just to kind of reiterate what we talked about, our segment one, we talked about our, uh, our AEW uh, Dynamite preview. And now we're going to dive deep, 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 deep into Ring of Honor, Impact Wrestling. So, uh, hey. You know, coming along for the ride. But before we move on any any further, I want to remind you guys to use the tips and donations link at the gsmcpodcast.net. Post a question, post a comment. Hell, post a statement. Tell me why you hate me. Tell me why you love me. Tell me why you want to talk about wrestling. Tell me exactly what as a podcast, because this is my podcast. Hell yeah, this is the GSMC Wrestling Award Podcast featuring your boy E here. But ultimately, I'm for the people, for the people. The Republic, for which it stands, one nation under Eric, indivisible for the GFs and <laughs> for the GSMC Wrestling Lower Podcast. Audience can view it all. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, anyways, uh, we get a number of questions that come in from viewers like you during the show. So, to ensure that your question gets read on air, I ask you guys to use the tips and donations link at the gsmcpodcast.net with your questions. Just put your questions on the top so we can see it. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like. Ultimately, it really helps the show. Leave a positive feedback. Tell me why you love me. Tell me why you hate me. Please don't hate me. I bought a new great shirt for you guys. Why are you guys hating? Why are you always hating me? Why are you? I'm just kidding. No. You guys love me. I know that for a fact. Make sure you like and subscribe to the show. Superman punch that. Like and subscribe button. You know, just, you know, just so me. We just all need a little luck. The world's going to get by. The society. The American society, the world as a whole, you know, everybody's hating on each other lately. You know, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, pointing fingers. I'm like, you know, this isn't a diplomatic podcast. This isn't a political podcast. So I'm going to stay away from that. Far, far, far away from that. But honestly, guys, one kind gesture toward each other. Be kind to each other. Be generous toward each other. And uh, honestly, the world will change in a better way, in an absolutely better way. But, uh, you know. Sometimes people, you know, that don't get this message, it's just, it's it's hard for people. But ultimately, I'm here with the GSMC uh, Wrestling Laurier Podcast to give you guys, you know, like I said, no po- no, no politics. No politics. Don't let me, don't do it. Don't push me. Don't, why, why do you want me to talk about politics? Like, why are you doing this to me? Why are you pushing me? Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Pushing back, pushing back, pushing back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm just kidding. No, all right, let's, let's focus. We're running short of time. What are you guys doing? Why you got, you know, you, you know, I'm just kidding. No, talk, no more talking mess. No, you know, uh, just put your questions up on top so I can see it. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Um, tell me your opinion on things. Once again, the link is at the GSMC, uh, podcast on it. So don't be afraid to tell me how you feel. So next, we're going to talk about a Thursday night wrestling preview. A lot of things going on tonight. We have, uh, you know, of course, Ring of Honor, uh, Honor Club, episode sixty-three. So uh, we have the um, we have a team grudge match, tag team grudge grudge match against Britt Garrison and Cole Carter with Maria against uh, Angelico and Serpent Serpentic Serpent. Ah, uh, Serpentico, Serpentico, Serpentico. I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. I hope to you guys I don't sound like a flipping idiot. If I do, put it in the tips and con. I'm just kidding, though. No. I'm just kidding. Don't no, don't do that. You're gonna break my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. <laughs> so that's gonna be a pretty good match happening on Ring of Honor tonight. Next, we have our um, you know our Women's World a TV Championship between Billy Starks. Uh, she's gonna fight against the Dream Girl Ellie. Should be pretty. Uh, should be pretty awesome. Should be pretty awesome. I have not seen. I gotta be honest. I have not seen Billy Stark fight in a match in a pretty pretty long time. So um, honestly, I think that's pretty dope. Next, we have um, you know we have Lance Archer and the Ratchet Brothers in a trios action. Hopefully, maybe that could be a jumping off point for a chance at the, you know, at the Unified Ring of Honor and AEW Trios Championship held by the Bullet Club Gold leader, Switchblade, Jay White. I love Jay White. I love Jay White. I hope he just, you know, I hope it just, he's kind of like that, mm, God, he's kind of like that 
that Adam Cole of the Undisputed Era. And um, he has, uh, you know, he has some pretty good successes successes in front of him. So ultimately, I feel like Jay White's going to get it done. Uh, will anybody, you know, be worthy enough to fight the Bullet Club Gold? Hey, we'll find out. Next, we have Ashley uh, D. Ambrose against uh, Kyrie Hogan. Kyrie Hogan has kind of like been like a subtle, kind of like an under the ground, kind of like a, you know, kind of like a, you know, under bombardment of talent. I think she's going to win. I think she's going to be the next one to challenge for the TV champion, for the women's TV championship at, uh, you know, Ring of Honor's next Supercard. So, you know, it should be pretty awesome. Next we see Anthony Agogo uh, go against uh, Ziki Dice. So why do all these wrestlers have weird, unique names? That's crazy. Like, you know, I'm not I'm not hating on it. I'm just saying it's, you know, kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Next we have Diamante, Mercedes Martinez, and Tyra Valkyrie against Abaddon, Lady Frost, and Layla Hirsch. In a you know in a three on three women's tag team match, it's gonna be pretty awesome. Obviously, Ring of Honor is heating up. Not too entirely sure. Honestly, where's Mark Briscoe? I know Mark Briscoe recently has been kind of um you know he recently had a kid, so he's probably on you know. Do men get maternity leave? Do men get maternity leave? Maybe, maybe not. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, so um, next we're gonna talk about Impact Wrestling. Uh, so we see how, uh, you know, ABC will fight Speedball Mountain. Should be pretty interesting. Obviously, the next competitors winning this match will fight for the TNA Impact uh, Knockouts uh, World Tag Team Championships in the men division. Uh, but then again, you saw FBI. FBI, we're going to talk about this in our next segment in Under Siege, came out victorious. I feel like they're going to def, they're, you know, they deserve it. They deserve, they deserve a chance at the, you know, uh, the championship in impact wrestling. You want to bring down the undisputed kingdom ultimately enough, but uh, yeah. So, um, you know, moving on, we have uh, Joe Hendry, uh, verbal jabs and under siege. First class channels their frustrations into the clash now between the FBI led by Guido. So, like, you know, the FBI is uh, maintaining their momentum and first class. Will they reclaim their impact dominance in the impact zone? Maybe, maybe not. All right, next we have Jonathan Grisham. Jonathan Grisham, he, uh, he won his first match coming back to the Impact Wrestling in Under Siege in Las Vegas. Ultimately, didn't really, uh, you know, wasn't really much a shock. I wanted to see Grish Grisham maybe kind of have, you know, just something different, but he came back, he won. Yes, yeah, yeah, he won. But honestly, like, you, if you're going to keep replaying and keep spitting out the same character over and over and over again, there's got to be something different. There's going to be something different. If uh, Impact Wrestling wants more viewers, they definitely got to like kind of, you know, and I know this is like a huge like no-no in terms of WWE because it's real. Well, because I feel like they have more wrestlers to kind of play around with this a little bit. But I feel like TNA has had a bad reputation, modus apparatus of turning the wrong people, you know, turning the wrong people bad and turning the good people bad. And that's, you know, I don't even know if that made sense. I'm just kidding. No, what I'm trying to say is that in a world of wrestling, in a world of wrestling, if you want to put people in the baby face era, or if you want to put people in the baby face position, you kind of have to match that up with, uh, you know, with the heel. In, a in uh, AEW especially, and in Impact Wrestling, you kind of have, you know, kind of like a mismatch. You kind of have more heels like you see in AEW with the Elite, Okada, and now you see the Patriarchy coming out. And now you have the Mogul Embassy turning their back on, uh, you know, Swerve Strickland. And then you also have TNA, and it just feels like, I don't know, just like an imbalance for a, for a wrestling promotion. You need to kind of have, if you're going to play into that whole, like, good guys versus bad guys kind of thing, you kind of have to have an e even balance. You have to have even, even balance. And, uh, you know, TNA in the past kind of really hasn't really done that. And, um, you know, I, I stick by my word. If you have any other, you know, any other confrontations or any other opinions, please put it into the uh, the chat section at the GSNC po uh, podcast on net. And, you know, tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, you know, but furthermore, moving on. So ultimately, um, uh, I feel like TNA is like kind of jumping off here. We see the system. The system is, you know, Moose. Moose is unstoppable. 
Moose has probably been one of the best Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Champions in a pretty, pretty long time. And then you saw Jordan Grace with PCO fight. You know, like I said, we'll talk about, um, you know, Under Siege in a moment. But kind of what I want to talk about is that um, it, it feels like the champions right now that they have just seem unstoppable. Unstoppable. Yeah, the X Division, the X Division champion Mustafa Ali, Jordan Grace, the Impact Wrestling um, World Women's Heavyweight Champion. You have Moose. You also have, uh, you know, Speedball Mountain. Couldn't bring him down. You have the Undisputed Kingdom. It's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy right now. You have these, you know, substantial superstars, these wrestlers, these champions that are very, very, I feel like it's well done. I feel like it's well done. I wanted to see Nick Nemeth, Dolph Ziggler, win in Las Vegas, uh, but it didn't really happen. But you know, should be interesting to see what they do with that. So let's move, let's move on to Under Siege. Under Siege, we saw Rhino versus uh, VSK. You saw Rhino picking up the victory. Also, you saw the FBI, Zach Clayton and Ray Jazz against uh, the Bitiri, Kodama and uh, Abi Young. Uh, New Japan, I think that's New Japan Wrestling. Uh, uh, ultimately, the FBI won, so I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, the digital media champion Loretta Kid successfully retained his championship against Casey Navarro, which was pretty cool because I love Loretta Kid. Uh, next, we see uh, Josh Alexander and Eric Young defeat Frankie Kazarian and Steve Macklin. I kind of would have loved to see Macklin and Kazarian pick up the victory here because, you know, I feel like them picking up the victory will ultimately kind of leave, you know, Alexander and Young to kind of get back into not, you know, because they're already kind of like flirting with that heel role. I feel like if they kind of, uh, if Kazarian and Macklin, uh, if they would have won the match. I felt like Eric Young, he's had, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, you know, kind of like the reputation, kind of like the reputation of being like that sick individual, kind of like that sick, you know, oh God, I can't say the word because, you know, this is a PG, this is a PG podcast, guys. What do you want to do? What do you want me to do? This is wrestling. I've, like I said before, I've, you know, I've, uh, you know, petitions for, hey, like, honestly, if WWE goes Netflix, I feel like this should be like a PG-13, maybe like a rated R, you know, <laughs> just kidding, no, don't, no. you know, we don't want to do that, we don't want to do that, so, <laughs> like I said before, Steve Macklin and Kazarian loses against Young and Alexander, um, next we have, um, Havoc and Rosemary, uh, against Ash by Elegance and the personal concierge. Honestly, I feel like they're trying to push Ash by, Ele Ash by Elegance. Uh, like they're trying to push her heavy, honestly. And then, you know, what do you, what do you honestly really have to complain about it in terms of the women's division in Impact Wrestling? Honestly, I feel like this is probably going to be Athena's next, you know, opponent, but then that's a huge maybe. They're going to have to open that open door toward, you know, Ring of Honor. But Ash by Elegance has been so far, she's been impressive. She's been definitely impressive. If anybody deserves to fight, um, you know, anybody, especially, especially Jordan Grace, it's probably Ash by Elegance. But, you know, who knows? Who knows? It's going to be, you know, quite a bloodbath in terms of who's going to, in the, especially in the women's division. It's, you know, pretty, it's getting pretty crazy. Next, we had Joe Henry defeating Zachary Wentz. Next, we see uh, the, the Knockouts World Tag Team Champion Spitfire lose their championships and new TNA Knockouts World Champions, Tag Team Champions. We have Alicia Edwards and Masha Slamovich. And honestly, this kind of came to a shock to me. This came to a huge shock because Spitfire, I love Spitfire. I feel like I don't know why they would take the championship belts off them. Hopefully, maybe they have Slamovich and also, um, you know, Edwards. Maybe kind of... Um, no, I can't. No, I can't even make ex excuses for this, you know, for this bad judgment. For this bad decision to strip Spitfire of their knockouts TNA World Women's Tag Team Champions. I honestly don't see why they're doing it. But, you know, maybe they have a reason. Maybe it's going to be, you know, something crazy. Honestly, to the fans, they can, you, you owe it to me. 
You owe it to me, Impact Wrestling. You are in my control. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Moving on. So we have Rick Swan with AJ Francis defeating Jake something, which, you know, we all kind of saw because I feel like they're trying to build momentum for Rick Swan because Rick Swan recently from the WWE uh, 205 Live division. Uh, oh, not long. Like, that was his, kind of, that was his thing. Uh, but ultimately, I feel like uh, Rick Swan is going to be um, probably... Mustafa Ali's challenger for the X Division Championship. And uh yeah. So um you know, pretty awesome stuff. Like I said before, you saw Jonathan Grisha making his debut back to a to uh Impact Wrestling uh, in Los in uh Nevada against uh Kushida. Uh obviously Grissom in his debut back to the ring one. And then uh for the knockouts world champion, well no, you uh, the, the, you know, in a tag team match. With the Knockouts World Champion Jordan Grace teaming up with PCO against uh, Steph, D La Steph D. Lander against Khan. Ultimately, you saw Jordan Grace do what she does best. The most electrifying woman in sports entertainment. No, like, she's great. She's honestly great. She has the accolades. Her Honestly, her career is pretty impressive. Pretty damn impressive. I want to see Jordan Grace. I, the moment when she made her debut in W... Well, no, she didn't make her debut, so to speak. Maybe I'm a little uh, frosty about that. But uh, ultimately, I don't know if she's going to wind up in WWE. She was showing up in the Royal Rumble. Uh, but ultimately, she's she's bad. She's I'm not being I'm not trying to be mean like bad bad. I'm trying to be like good for like this girl's badass. There's no one that's gonna dethrone her, and if you're gonna dethrone Jordan Grace over Impact Wrestling Championship, you're gonna you're gonna have to pride it from her cold, dead hands. So uh, yeah, that was my uh, Thursday night wrestling preview, and also my TNA. Uh, Impact Wrestling uh, Under Siege uh, review. So, hey, guys, don't go anywhere. We have the North, uh, we have the National Wrestling uh, Alliance uh, basically partners up with the WWC to put on a really, really good show in Puerto Rico, which is going to take place uh, May 11th. So, uh, hey, don't go anywhere. <laughs>